Welcome to another episode of the Retro Gaming Rewind, where we push the rewind button until we're back in the golden age of gaming. In this series we play games from the past on original soft and hardware, covering mostly the Commodore Amiga systems, the PlayStation 1 and 2, and MS-DOS or Windows games from the late 80s to the early 2000s. Expect a new episode every other week, where we play something different every time. I'm your host Dan, and today we'll be playing Nuclear War on my Amiga 500. As you might know, today we live in dangerous times, and maybe we're closer to nuclear war than we've ever been before. So that seems the perfect time to have a little bit of a nuclear war on our computers as well. Nuclear War is a turn-based strategy game developed by New World Computing and released on the Amiga and Atari computers in 1989 and later ported to MS-DOS as well. The game is set in a comical, exaggerated version of Nuclear Warfare where the objective is to be the last surviving leader by maintaining some population while destroying everyone else's. Players, including one human and four computer-controlled opponents, each control a country represented by caricatured world leaders. These leaders are satirical representations of figures like Ronald Reagan, Mikhail Gorbachev, Margaret Thatcher and more. Each turn, players can choose to launch nuclear strikes, use propaganda against opponents to sway their population, or build defense mechanisms. The game includes random events for added chaos, like alien invasions or bizarre natural disasters, which can drastically change the gameplay mechanics. One of the standout features of Nuclear War is its satirical tone. The game doesn't take itself seriously, which was reflected in its graphics, scenarios and character depictions. This humor was often highlighted in reviews, with critics appreciating the light-hearted approach to a grim subject. Nuclear War's satirical and somewhat simplistic approach to nuclear strategy makes it an interesting piece of gaming history, reflecting the Cold War era's cultural anxieties through the lens of humor. This game, while not deeply complex in terms of strategy, offers a snapshot of how game developers in the late 80s and early 90s might have used satire to discuss or cope with nuclear fears of the time, making it both a product of its era and an interesting study in game design history. We will be playing this game on my Amiga 500's Go Drive, which is basically a modern replacement for the floppy drives. About half of those floppy disks don't work anymore, and the Go Drive allows me to put the images on a USB stick, plug it in, and then switch through them as if they were actual disks. And with that out of the way, it is now finally time to stop worrying and love the bomb. And here we are, finally ready for some beautiful nuclear war. Now I mean in the game. We got uh, our usual, usual suspects. We got uh, Ronald Reagan, Margaret Thatcher, Fidel Castro. We got Gaddafi, Khomeini. We got Mao. We got Gandhi, Gorbachev. Uh, I think this one, I'm not sure. This, uh, one of them, I think, is Australia. I'm not sure which one, the Prime Minister of Australia and the other one. No idea, and who cares? Anyways, so uh, we are ourselves, 
and we are picking our opponents from these guys here. So let's make sure that our first opponent is uh, the greatest and the second greatest nuclear power in the world, because what can go wrong fighting against those? Um, who else do we pick? Let's go with Fidel Castro and the Ganji. And then I uh, want to see where that goes. This is probably not going to be a very long video. We're going to play this game a few times. It's not very long. I think it's actually based on a board game, but I might be wrong. I think it is. Welcome to nuclear war. Your destiny awaits. <laughs> yeah, we already know my destiny. It's not going to be a good one. So you got the four uh, leaders here. I think if you click them, then you can see their their uh, country, their houses that they have. I think the, the skyscraper has more people than this house. And then there's, uh, I think, uh, a tribal hut. And then tents. Tents are the smallest. And I think there is like a... There is like a, a science fiction sort of city. If you have extra... If you have... Uh, maybe if aliens visit you. If you just get a ton of people in that city. And these cities can all be targets of uh, nuclear attacks. You can see we got uh, missiles or rockets here. With the capacity. So 10 megatons, 20, 50 or 100 megatons. We got planes here. We, this is a 50 megaton capacity plane, and this is a 100 megaton capacity plane. And here you need, of course, to also construct the warheads. You can see the, the green light is what we've got. So we got a 10 megaton rocket. We got 10 megaton warhead. Uh, this is anti-missile, and I think this is anti-airplane defense as well. Now, this is our arsenal. It's uh, pretty meager. Here, we uh, basically build weapons for one turn. So this game is turn-based. I get to make my turn, and then they all make their turn. So here we can build weapons for a turn. Let's do that. So defectors leave Infidel for Gorbachev. So uh, Infidel tried propaganda on Gorbachev, but failed, so he lost 10 million. It can go wrong, propaganda. Gorbachev conducts pro propaganda towards Ron Reagan, and he's successful in gets So he got like 10 million from him and 8 million from Reagan. <laughs> and this one... Uh, okay, so this one does propaganda and takes 8 million from him. And, of course, uh, Reagan scrambles a bomber. <laughs> Good old bomber man. And we are producing weapons of... Uh, no, we're, we're building nuclear toys. For big children. We produce two NM1 bombers. Okay, so we produce two of these bombers here. We produced one... One 10 megaton uh, missile, two 50, 20 megaton warheads, and one 50 megaton warhead. We can't deliver this one, though, because we, we don't have the capacity. Let's make happy faces to these guys. Let's make, I'm not sure what the faces mean, if, if they actually mean that, they, uh, that you're trying to make them more positive towards you or any other way. And you can see here the numbers below is how they see you. So Gandhi doesn't like us because maybe we, because he's like specific, doesn't like uh, people producing weapons of mass uh, fun, <laughs> of toys of mass enjoyment. Does it, they all, I think they all have a little bit different characters. And if you click them, for instance, let's click Gorbachev. Then you can see how the other, the other leaders uh, stand towards him. So Reagan really doesn't like him. Everyone else so far is kind of balanced. Yeah, they all they're all around 50, except for Reagan really doesn't like Gorbachev, so I wonder who is he who he's gonna bombard. <laughs> um hmm. So now we know I mean what I learned when playing this game 59 million years ago is if you do, do propaganda two times in a row, then everyone will dislike you. So you can't do the same action. You want to mix and match. 
So let's do some propaganda to Senor Castro over here. We target this hut. Usually I target the smaller huts. If if these buildings completely disappear, then they can't get back. But if you like do propaganda on this one and uh, 10 million leave and it becomes like this house here, then he can still grow back to this. If it's gone, it's gone. So you want to ideally, ideally everyone else has all their buildings disappeared and you have at least one left. So uh, Fidel does propaganda towards Gorbachev. Gorbachev does propaganda toward, towards Gandhi. Or Gandhi. Should we say real names or the fake names? I can't make up my mind. Gandhi does propaganda towards us. Huh. And Reagan bombards Gorbachev. Killing a mere 15 million. That's two, that's two times my country. <laughs> Bombarded. And I got 7 million from Infidel. He's, he's saying go away. So he doesn't like us that much anymore. 35. What we'll do is we'll produce more weapons of uh, mass enjoyment. This turn and see what everyone else does. Uh oh, he's launching a missile. So you can read below who does what to whom, so I don't have to say it every time. Yeah, 12 million bombarded, and I am gonna assume that the missile from this fella is for me. <laughs> Let's see how he likes everyone. Uh, 34 for me. 50 for Gorbachev, 53 for Gandhi, 54 for Reagan. So he likes me the least, which means I'm going to set up a missile defense and lean back and relax. Oh, whoops. Missile destroyed by ABM. City is safe. Gandhi conducts propaganda towards us. What a, what a jag off. Now we're going to propaganda him back. Maybe he likes it. Oh, yeah, and there's some people that actually, when they like you, they actually, it's the opposite. So when they have 100, then they really hate you. But they like, they're faking it. I don't know which one is like that. And if we have any. Okay, we got Gorbachev blowing Reagan. Yeah, stay out of their trouble. He's like the third time he propagandas us. I propagandized him back. I think he got more though. So he's gonna. Oh god! Now I have two. I have two enemies because of you. Uh, so he's gonna launch another missile. So we're gonna. Oh, we don't have this. Are we gonna take it? Let's build more weapons. We're gonna have to take this rocket. Oh, you can see it's going great. It's going really great for me. We're fighting two, and these two, America and Russia, fight each other. Nothing's changed there. Switzerland has to fight Cuba and India. Yeah, I think we're going to win, guys looking pretty good for me if good is bad so you know what let's deploy our toy <laughs> why do they both have to fight me that's unfair oh they destroyed my I'm the, I'm the one the first one that loses a city yeah I think I'm gonna win this game guys it's looking really good It was this guy's fault. He did more damage to me than anyone else. I'm going to send him a hundred. I don't even have one. Okay, I'm going to send him a 50 megaton warhead. I hope he can't defend it. Now he probably... Oh, God. What a, what a horrible, horrible game. He puts anti-air defense up. And that failed too. Like everything...
I didn't know India and Cuba were such great friends. Maybe they just hate me, then they hate each other. I mean, honestly, Cuba isn't even a, a superpower, but that didn't matter back then. So this guy is launching, <gasps> excuse you, a bomber. So we're going to put the mega cannon up that will shoot down the bomber. Oh, he lost some people. Can you see? Everyone's got all their cities except for us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they all, they both hate me more. I mean, you know what? I'm going to make this face here. Maybe this is like the fake I like you face. And you know what? Between Gorbachev and Reagan, as soon as one of them is done, I guarantee you the survivor will attack me too. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm happy too. I'm so happy too. Oh, take this. He still has the city. Oh no, and the Castro is launching another rocket. That's not good. I'm gonna have to bombard him. I gotta do something. I can't fight both. It's impossible. But it's not like it's a choice. We're doomed. I wanna... I think at this point I would have left uh, the country. Hug me with nuclear arms. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> I will hug you. This will junk a bomber? No. This will infidel targeted by your bomber. Okay, so this is... Yeah, the bomber is... We launched it last turn. So here and... There we go. I think I did something wrong. He keeps losing people. That's, that's good. Please destroy a city. Yes! Dirty bomb. Destroy city. Yes! So he's at zero. Well, it's his own fault. Leave me alone. Yeah, well, you leave me alone first. That's not leaving me alone, okay? We're going to be the first that's dead. And to be honest, Russia and USA looks kind of a tie. Maybe USA a little bit better. They have uh, larger cities. No, I have I have two hundred megaton warheads. Now I have three, but I can't. I don't. Oh, I can't deliver them. And if it's the last thing I'll do, and if it's the last thing I'll do, push the button, Commander. He's defending. Oh, they're both defending. They're 100 megatons wasted. Let's do propaganda towards... Towards uh, Infidel. He, he, he hates us the most. Defectors leave Infidel for your country. That is, a, I think, a failed propaganda from his side. And Gandhi is, of course, he's sucking us dry with his propaganda. I don't think he, he's a... I don't think he ever launches a missile. He just does propaganda. He's like a vampire. 10 million. Okay, that's good. Um, we need some, some uh, payload delivery... Apparatus, either in form of a plane or a missile. A rocket. What's the difference between the rocket and missile? Wait, they're fighting each other now. Okay. 
So the USA is probably uh, gonna die before me. They're fighting India and Russia now. Your factory is produced. Air defense, the missile defense, 50 megaton warhead. We can't even deliver the 50 megaton warhead. We have 50 and 100 megaton warheads and we can't deliver them. We have no method. Let's uh, suck infidels, people. No, not what you thought I was gonna say. Let's suck their people off of uh, their city. No, I failed. Eight millions abandoned me. My ghost will haunt you. <laughs> we need uh, air defense, we need missile defense. Wait, I think I forgot, hang on. I forgot to make the picture better, I think. Put some auto gain. Maybe you won't even notice the difference, but I will. Oh, there we go, forgot it. Oh well, live and learn nothing is what I say. And does anyone have a missile up for me? No, right? Let's do some propaganda on Senor Castro. You may not target, no, his country, not my country. Of course, his country is the one with more, with twice the amount of cities. Wow, look at Ganji. Is that is that his, his building? One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, he's got four skies. He's gonna win the game. The pacifist pig is gonna win. After propaganda, oh, we lost another 10 million because of my propaganda is bad. And he gets mad. 10 million leave me for him and he gets mad. Oh wait, the uh, USA is done. Even before me. And you know what that means in this game? In this game, it means they're gonna get to launch all their rockets. Uh, the one rocket at each of us, so. Here we go. City destroyed. Kills 11 million. Oh, he didn't have more rockets. Thank the Lord. He has a... He has a rocket up, right? Yeah, let's put... Air defense up as well. And now everyone attacks me. Thank you. Oh no, Ganji attacks Gorbachev. Gorbachev attacked me for some reason. I never did anything to him. Well... Screw that guy. We need, we definitely need a payload delivery system and some air defense. So we're building more. Okay, now Gorbachev fights India. I mean, Ganji, the Ganja man. I have no, I, how, I have like, I don't know how many hundred megaton warheads. I don't have a single rocket or plane that can deliver those. Uh, he's launching a missile, we're defending. I hope Gorbachev doesn't attack us, since we've never done anything to him. We messed with those two idiots here. I'm gonna try the Ganji tactic and tactic and suck his people out of their uh, cities. Here we go. Gorbachev launches a missile at the Ganji. And that's the end of him. This is like a special event. Five million people. It's like aliens landing and so it's chaotic. Those are like chaotic events, like in SimCity when stuff happens. And this is just a failure here. Propaganda failure. Just one million. That's okay if it's just a million. I'm gonna build some more weapons. Oh, ooh, 16 millions. 
Wow, the city went down two levels. Oh no, Gorbachev is down. He's gonna retaliate against everyone. Yeah, great. He couldn't have launched one of the infidel. It had to be me, the one that was almost done anyways. There we go. They're not going to fight each other. They're both going to fight me. This guy has been screwing with me since the beginning. So, this is for you. Enjoy. <laughs> Please don't defend. Oh, he super lost uh, a propaganda attempt. He lost the whole city. It was very unlucky. And now he's going to get a 100 megaton warhead. <laughs> Whoops, was that me? <laughs> I think it was me. Must have been me. It is time for retribution. Um... Do we, we, let's propaganda him. If we're lucky, we can destroy his city with propaganda. We're not going to win this game. I think uh, Infidel is going to win. Oh, we destroyed the city. Five million. And now we're going to eat a rocket. They literally can't like me less at this point. Oh. He's, he's losing propaganda attempts, and I'm winning them. Ooh, yes. I will ooh along with the game. We have a heavy bomber. We have a heavy bomber. <laughs> well, Mr. Ganji, don't mind if I do. I will give you your peace. <laughs> Turns out that was me. Let's see. Let's do some propaganda on this hut here. With luck, we're going to destroy that one too. No, we lost. Okay, we're, we're done. This is the end. It was nice knowing you, my friends. I got to go to the great beyond. No. We're sending the bomber. The Ganji is never building weapons, so he doesn't have any defenses. We can just bombard him as much as we want. Ganji targeted by your bomber. This is our last turn. You know what? Let's let's build some rockets. So when we die, we have more presents. <laughs> no, I think it's too late. We're not building anything. We're dead. And that is it. Oh, I had a bunch of rockets and uh <laughs> And bombs and stuff. I actually destroyed Ganji post-mortem. <laughs> now we can watch the end screen. So we are Ron and Dan. I don't know where I am. I'm nowhere. Wait, why is there, are there all Dan's? Oh, I played this game before. Of course, it saved my uh, it saved my saves. Now we're not even on the list, aren't we? Score. I think this is how many cities we have when we win or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, we don't get to be on the list. Very unfortunate. So in this game, this is from 89, you restart the game here. Here we are again. Let's pick some different opponents this time. So let's go with 
with uh, Mao. Let's go with Gaddafi with Khomeini. Oh, wait, this is Richard Nixon, isn't it? Tricky dick. So the USA is here twice. Okay, let's go with Nixon, too. Right, should we go with Nixon, too? So we have the USA twice. Oh, well. Too late now. Welcome to nuclear war. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, nuclear war is beautiful. If it's a game. Uh, let's start with unoffensively building weapons of uh, mass enjoyment. Gaddafi blitzes my country with lies. And I already lost five people. Great. Five millions. They're starting bombers. And this one attacks me too with propaganda. Oh, this is a great start of the game. I'm so happy, guys. The first turn we get attacked by two. And the other two will launch the missile and uh, a bomber. They're probably also for us. <laughs> uh, I guess this time we're lucky. Wait, this guy likes us and attacks us. So it's, maybe he's the fake one. The one that uh, the more he likes us, the actually he doesn't like us. I'm going to put an air defense up. No, now he loses people to Mao. Oh yeah, of course the rocket is also for me. Yeah. The bomber is not for me. So three guys attack me in the first two turns. I managed to avoid the worst. And they all have sort of medium relationships towards us. Now we gotta either pick a target or build more weapons. Let's build more weapons. Let's see what they do. So Gaddafi and Mao don't like each other. Tricky Dick launches another missile and Khomeini bombards him. But the city saved by a dud warhead. Okay, so now it looks like nobody attacks us. Huh. He doesn't like us anymore for some reason. He liked us 80 and now we're back to 39. We got a 100 megaton bomber and a 100 megaton warhead. And now we got to pick somebody to start our propaganda. Let's see who they, how they like each other. Gaddafi and Mao are enemies. Tricky Dick and Kokomani are enemies. Uh, Gaddafi and Mao are in Of course, I already said that. So we can pick anyone. Let's pick... Uh, oh, look here. doesn't have uh, great cities. He's not going to win. Oh, this guy has already won lost, but he has got... Ah, oh, crap. Hang on, I got to figure this out. We're not attacking Gaddafi or Mao. Mao looks the strongest. Khomeini... Looks weak and Tricky Dick looks weak too. We gotta pick the right opponent. Wait, Tricky Dick really likes him, but they actually hate each other, so he's also fake smiler. Let's give him the fake smile too. Um, let's do propaganda on Komani, on on Kokamani. And we destroyed his city. Now he loves us. Yeah, let's uh, build some rockets. Or, you know. Anti-air defense. Our factories are working. Gaddafi doesn't like us anymore. Why, I wonder. Now look how young he was. This must have been like... I don't know when this is. Definitely from, I guess, the mid-80s, maybe. I mean, the game is 89, but they, you know, they, they could have taken leaders from, from a decade earlier or something. I don't know exactly when everyone here ruled. 
their respective country. Huh. Let us... What did I do? I... Three. Let's go for Khomeini. Co Khomeini. Use the propaganda. If we're lucky, or if we're not unlucky, they lose some people and we gain some. So Gaddafi doesn't like us if we do propaganda on Khomeini. Are those two guys besties? No, they don't like each other either. Maybe he just doesn't like propagandas. Propaganda people. And now he just nukes us. What a pig. Now he likes us more if we produce uh, weapons of uh, mass love. Well, I have to say, love is in the air. I mean, quite literally. This guy's gonna attack us? No. And now, we, now we're putting love in the air. Watch this. <laughs> So, who likes, uh, let's do a 250 megaton attacks. We can go twice with the uh, bomber. Wow, he attacked me. Okay, I got Gaddafi bumped. And since you bumped me, I'm gonna bomb you next. Here, I got another 50 megaton payload with your name on it. This is a little bit more balanced than the last game, at least, where we're not getting attacked by two all the... Until the end! <laughs> I think I managed to, to survive pretty long for that. For getting attacked by two. So Gaddafi doesn't like propaganda, that's annoying. But I like it, I need more people. I'm gonna get the, his tent uh, undone. No, now I can't get anyone. And I'm losing people, really? If you make propaganda to a destroyed crater of a city, then the people are like, then my people are like, wow, I wanna live in that crater instead of this city here. And then they go and build their tents. Wow, okay. Well, hot diggity dog. Are you my friend? <laughs> my friend. That's for me. No, it's not for me. It's for Tricky Dick. You know what? We got a cool... We got the... <laughs> we got a cool our jets, guys. Because I'm starting to see something here. We got to kill Mao. He's the strongest one. He's got all the cities. He's going to win the game if we don't attack him at some point. Can I get my tent city back? No. Um, does Tricky Dick really like us? He and the Mao like each other. Unless he's fake. No, they actually like each other. So I can't attack any of the two because the other one is going to attack me then. Mao hates Gaddafi. And I uh, don't get this. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go for Gaddafi. He's propagandizing me for six millions. And I'm losing people again. Let's build more weapons. We're gonna send Mao a couple of hundred megatons. When we're nearing the end game. <laughs> uh, we're never producing 100. No, we got 100 megaton. Hmm. Let's do some propaganda towards Mr. Gaddafi here. Okay, 
they're not fighting me. Nobody's attacking me right now. Maybe we're a little bit lucky. He is attacking Khomeini. I mean, Co Khomeini. Co Khomeini launches a missile. Mao drops a bomb on Gaddafi. Gaddafi. On Colonel Gaddafi. So I'm gonna assume that missile is for me here. It's gotta be for someone else, right? He doesn't hate me that much. 47. No, he's gonna he's gonna attack Dick. He's gonna attack Tricky Dick. I'm gonna try and destroy Gaddafi's second last city. Okay, so this turn, people are going to die. I think. And then they're going to launch. This guy's going to die and he's going to missile everyone. But this guy, I don't think, is going to die. But Tricky Dick is going to die. He's got just, just a tent left. But I don't have just missile defense. I would have to, to waste a mega cannon. I'm going to build instead. I'm going to hope he's going to send me a small missile if he dies. Maybe he has no missiles left. So. Oh, he's done. Oh, oh, he's going to missile. He's going to bomber. That's for me. No! Oh, it's looking bad. We got to attack Mao. It's an hour never. We gotta hit him hard before he knows what's happening. A pacifier missile with 100 megaton. Uh oh, Gaddafi's almost gone. Look at this guy. The big cheese. I wanted to change the smile. Okay, let's uh, annihilate one of his skyscrapers. Oh no! He's defending my 100 megaton missile. I'm not gonna win this one either. Oh, now he hates me. He's still attacking Gaddafi. We have another another hundred megatoner. I think I clicked too much here. A uh, hundred megaton here. Please don't defend. And uh, click. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's not gonna defend. Yes! Oh yes! We destroyed the skyscraper city. Time for the second one. Maybe we can still win. Maybe we can win. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what that was. I clicked too fast. Nine million killed by radiation. Okay, here comes the second 100 megaton city. I mean, uh, warhead. And enjoy. <laughs> oh no. He shut it down again. Oh, oh he shut it down again. Okay, let's launch a missile quickly. <laughs> Quickly. Oh no, he built something. I hope he didn't build a missile. What the f Oh, he's done? Oh. No, not me twice! Oh god. Please don't attack me. Okay, this is the end game. 100 megaton. <laughs> Good night. Shug? Oh, 
it's not destroyed. It's not destroyed. It's not destroyed. Ah. Uh, I have to kill him. Can't risk it. Okay, we're nuking each other, but I got two cities, buddy. So... Oh, I don't have uh, 50 megatons. Oh, no! Please, please, I hope he has no more missiles. Oh, God. Yeah, this is the realistic ending of a nuclear war scenario. Everyone's dead. Yeah, so that's the good ending again. I keep getting this in all games that I play. <laughs> oh well, at least we saw uh, at least we saw this ending as well, right? Instead of another guy jumping up and down and screaming, "I won!" So the world is destroyed. Nuclear war is bad. Who would have thought? Uh, we played uh, this. So this was the 32, 32, 30 second episode of the Retro Gaming Rewind. Remember on my uh, web page. On my webpage on my YouTube channel. You can scroll down and you can watch all the other episodes with Amiga, PlayStation 1 games, and um, I think uh, PC games from the 90s as well on my retro PC that I built with parts from the 90s. I'm also going to put the link below. Anyhow, I hope, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Goodbye.